the first Christmas spent with a partner's family is always nerve-wracking, especially for Meghan Markle, whose in-laws include the Queen herself. But Prince Harry's fiancée managed to get on his grandmother's good side with a very amusing gift during her first Christmas as Sandringham. According to the Daily Star Online, Meghan, 36, bought Her Majesty a singing toy hamster which, according to the paper, left the monarch in hysterics. A source said, Meghan bought a little hamster that sings with a little rope for Her Majesty. It was so funny, especially when the corgis tried to take hold of the toy. She, the Queen, laughed and said they can keep my dog's company. The royal family buy each other comical gifts at Christmas and honour their German heritage by opening presents on Christmas Eve. The Daily Star also claims that Meghan cheekily poked fun at the Duke of Cambridge's thinning hair by gifting him a Tam O'Shanter hat, complete with fake ginger hair attached. Meghan's choice of novelty gifts were well received among the family who tend to shun serious or expensive presents with Prince Harry reported to have once gifted his grandmother a shower cap printed with the slogan Ain't Life A.B. Prince Charles' most cherished gift is reportedly a white leather toilet seat given to him by Princess Anne, which he found so comfy that it now travels with him on his overseas tours. In comparison the Duchess of Cambridge opted for a sweet homemade gift for her first Christmas with the Queen, gifting her a jar of chutney from her own grandmother's recipe. Apart from a slight wobble when she curtsied to the Queen after the service, Meghan's first public appearance with members of the royal family appeared to go without a hitch. Prince Harry told the Today programme that her first royal family Christmas had been a resounding success. When the fifth in line to the throne was quizzed by presenter Sarah Montague at the end of guest editing the three-hour show he replied, It was fantastic, she really enjoyed it. Speaking about his fiancée, he said, the family loved having her there. There's always that family part of Christmas, where, there's always the work element there as well, and I think together we had an amazing time. We had great fun staying with my brother and sister-in-law and running around with the kids. Christmas was fantastic. The couple are just months away from their big and will get married at Windsor Castle on May 19th. As for their wedding reception, the couple were thought to be keen on Frogmore House, which Meghan described as dreamy, for their wedding reception, but have now been gently vetoed by royal aides. They have instead been offered St George's Hall at Windsor Castle, which is thought to be more suitable for the size of the wedding party.